Hi guys! So as you can see, this is not the normal position of the camera for my videos. So I decided after talking to some of you guys to start kind of a new series on my channel called Nurse Eats. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I think I'll call it Nurse Eats. And I'm going to do some recipes that I cook for my meals that I bring to work. So these are going to be quick recipes. These are going to be healthy recipes and these are going to be things that you can make kind of in bulk so that way you can bring them to your shifts and have some for a few days in a row. If you're like me and you work a couple shifts in a row, I don't want to come home and cook dinner so I usually cook this, ooh, I just smacked my hand. I usually cook these meals the day before I go into work and then I have them for the next few days. So without further ado, I know I don't look my normal self, but that's okay, it's my day off. So I'm gonna show you how to make, I don't even know what I'm gonna call it. It's like a sausage, potato-y, creamy soup. It's really good and it's healthy and it makes a lot of it. So stick around for the recipe. So I know a lot of people do really cute recipe videos and you know what? I might do some cute recipe videos, but I wanna keep these casual. I wanna keep things real and show you legitimately what I'm doing. All the ingredients are gonna be listed down below. I don't want to go and do a voiceover on one and a half cups of this, two cups of this, because nobody got time for that. <laughs> so this is just gonna keep it casual. Ingredients will be listed down below and just follow this video to watch the steps. So basically, I have my big pot here and ignore how it looks because the dishwasher has been leaving this kind of weird white film on it, but whatever, it's all good. So basically, I'm just adding some water, and I know I'm using a mason jar and that looks really cute, but it's just because that's the only clean dish I have in my clean dishes right now. I'm gonna add some chicken powder to make this like a chicken broth. And I'm too lazy to like chop up on these carrots, and I like kind of a chunky soup, so I'm just gonna legitimately throw them all in here whole. So you also, whoops, that doesn't need to go in there. You need to brown your ground sausage. This is an Italian style sausage. So I'm just gonna turn that on like medium and brown it while I get my other stuff prepared. And I definitely turned on the wrong burner. <laughs> Let's turn that one off and yeah, there we go. I don't know why I didn't make onions with all this papery stuff on it. Whatever. I'm struggling. So unlike the carrots, you do want to chop the celery because it um, just wouldn't be cool if you got a large chunk of celery in your soup. Doesn't really flow with the whole soup of vibe that I'm going for. So I'm gonna show you I, these little potatoes here. I really like these little potatoes. I actually um, prefer the ones that are like less than half this size, but these are nice for just soups and also they're small for if you want to like roast them and stuff. Just gonna chop these into quarters. So I always hate this part. When you have hot water I'm trying to put all these things in here. Add a little or a lot of garlic. And I'm going to add some pepper into this. I normally don't add salt until the end if it needs it because the chicken broth is so salty. I'm also going to add some ground thyme. Thyme is kind of like my secret weapon seasoning. It's like, I don't know, I feel like I never used it or my parents didn't really use it when I was younger. But it's like my secret recipe secret ingredient seasoning. So once your meat is brown, I just go ahead and add it right into the soup. There's not that much grease, so I'm not too worried about that, but you can drain it if you want. And then I just stir it all in here, and then you're gonna cover it and just cook it for like 
20 minutes, you're going to kind of boil it so that way the potatoes and everything gets soft. So I'm just checking all my potatoes and carrots and making sure they're nice and tender and then your onions should be nice and like translucent. I don't know if you can kind of see on there. Kind of translucent and same with the celery, it should be kind of see through -y. And that means your soup is nice and cooked. So now I'm going to add some spinach. And this is frozen spinach. You can use fresh spinach. I'm just being lazy and this is convenient for me heavy cream you can also use just milk and um, not too much basically just enough to make it look creamy so i'm just adding a little bit of parmesan cheese on top or a lot of it because i like parmesan cheese and obviously i have to pour myself a glass of wine this is not something you should do at work but <laughs> if you're at home feel free so I hope you guys enjoy this video on my Nurse Eats. If you guys make this recipe, hashtag Nurse Eats RN on your Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, whatever you use so that I can see that you made it. Let me know what you guys think. If you like these types of video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye. Cheers.